What? That would have been useful when I was in school. What? Well, the pain. So recently, I've had some problems with editing 4K video on my computer. So I decided that it's finally time to upgrade to a faster CPU. Now here I have the AMD Ryzen 5 1600 AF. And since I have an Intel CPU in my computer now, I would have to upgrade the motherboard. So I have the ASRock B450M. So let's swap it out. So hopefully whenever we change the CPU, everything will still be here. If not, if it corrupts Windows, then we'll have to do a fresh new install. So hopefully this isn't the last power off. But let's see. It's the last power off for this uh, Intel CPU. Everything shuts down. And now we can start unplugging cords. Turn off the power supply. Display port. Ethernet. Mouse and keyboard. Speakers. Grab a zip tie. Put it in reverse to keep all the cables. Now I can move my computer. Leave the cables there. By the way, this computer is only uh, $129 apparently. Not sure how I got that in there, but sorry for a different day. So this is my old motherboard, and this is the old CPU cooler. Now this kept my temps pretty low, about in the 50 to 60 degree range. But sadly this is only for Intel CPUs, so I'm gonna have to use the stock one that comes with the CPU. So this is the MSI B250M Bazooka. That's the ASRock B450M. So they're both micro ATX. So here is the motherboard. The IO shield comes with some SATA cables. Yeah, SATA cables. The screw for the M.2 SSD. Instruction manual with a nice disc. Definitely gonna use that. Oh yeah, there it is. All right, so now I'm gonna open up the CPU. There's the CPU. There's the cooler. We'll probably have the little paste on it already, so don't scratch that off. So here's the AMD Wraith Stealth. It comes with some thermal paste on the bottom too. The heat sink size by like half. Which that, does that mean that you have the spire? Yeah. There's mm -hmm. the Stealth. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, shall we? Take the CPU out. <laughs> so cool. Here's the CPU. Then we line up the little arrow that's in that corner little golden arrow up to the arrow that's on the motherboard and then we just place it in there just like that it goes right into place and then we put this down and there we go we install the cpu okay now the cooler just make sure it's lined up and then just tighten it There we go. I just have to add more force to that. Okay, RAM is installed. Now we put in the M.2 SSD. That clicks in. So I'm going to put in the IO shield. Never forget your IO shield. As Alex said.
graphics card. Push it down. It clicked into its place. Now we just plug in the GPU. That nice click, and it's in there. Okay, we're pretty much done. All right, so I plugged everything back in, and I guess this is the moment of truth. <laughs> oh, epic. There we go. <laughs> everything works. And if we open up Task Manager, we can see that the CPU is in fact the one that we plopped in there. 2,479. <laughs> Damn. It's like double. Damn. Okay. That's not even overclock. Imagine overclock. Well, now that I got the CPU installed, it's time to go edit some more videos. Thank you guys for watching.